and welcome. My name is Mary Runger, and I'm delighted to have you here at the Making Wise Decisions Life Skills Workshop for Teens. So I happened to see in our parish bulletin a program that was being offered to our religious ed students. Um, our children were going to the Catholic school that our parish is uh, affiliated with. And I audited the mini-series that the junior high uh, youth ministry directors offered. And I was so impressed with the program that I decided, kind of selfishly, I needed to bring this to the, to the school where my children were attending and offer it to the families um, there. So what you have to do is, is, is pair up with uh, the parent you do not know. Introduce yourself, then introduce, they'll introduce themselves to you, and then we're going to have some fun together. So please go ahead and find a new parent. And so hopefully in offering this program to our eighth graders, what we're trying to do is get them empowered now, before they get to the high school scene and they start traveling in the wrong direction. Um, they know better. They've got a game plan. As they always say, you can't get anywhere if you don't have a compass and a goal and you know where you're going. So this program kind of acts like a compass that helps them know how to get to true north, so to speak, and that goal of living a chaste life. Because it's such an important time in their lives. If they make decisions that are not healthy, that can impact them for the rest of their life. Similarly, I really feel as though this workshop for our teens helps them to already have some type of formation, a defense, when these decisions come, come at them at full speed in high school. And there's not a lot of chance or time to, to think it through. Share with me how you felt when your parents mentioned going to the workshop as an eighth grader. Uh, you know, I really, uh, uh, you know, my parents kind of dragged me here, but, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect, so uh, I just kind of, you know, I did what they told me to do, and I just showed up just, uh, you know, to keep them happy. I really didn't know what it was uh, really fully going to talk about. And how did you feel after you attended the Making Wise Decisions workshop? I definitely felt like... Um, you know, I kind of was more aware of the temptations that would that would be in high school because obviously, you know, in eighth grade you don't you f you don't face the temptations that you face in high school. So I felt that I was uh, you know more ready to uh, to face the life in high school. Uh, and the other key element that's wonderful and really impactful because it's closer to home for these teens, and that is when we invite high school. Uh, high schoolers to come in that are usually junior, juniors or seniors to offer uh, their testimonial to what it's like to try to make these decisions in high school. So these panelists come and share their real life experiences. I call them our stars with the S-T-A-R-S -S representing students uh, teaching about real strategies. Can you share with me any maybe a particular comment or even life experience that maybe one of the high school panelists uh, shared with the group that has impacted you the, these years? Or what do you reflect back on that helps you when you're going forward? Well, I think um, I remember one of the students saying that, you know, in the end you have to live with the decisions that you make. And um, it, really all that matters, it's not going to matter what anyone else thinks when high school's over or something like that. It's, how you feel about what you did in high school, and that's what you have to deal with in the end. So, uh, I, just, I, I took a lot out of it, especially from the, the students that came with Mr. Kozlowskis to talk to us, um, because, you know, you kind of, it's more credible when you have a, a student at, the, at a high school coming to talk to you about, you know, the temptations that you're going to face. Um, so it, it was really good to, uh, you know, hear the senior at Bennett kind of talk about uh, you know, the Bennett social life and the temptations that it will bring and how to, how to prevent getting caught up in the temptations. Okay. I remember um, I always sort of looked up to the people who were on the panel and like knew them from our own school and I was happy to see that they were still make, like the same person they were in junior high as they were in high school. And I remember one of the comments that a boy made um, talking about how some boys don't show respect to girls and girls think that the boys are in love with them but then 
he kind of talked about some conversations that boys have with other boys that show that, you know, maybe they aren't thinking in the same way and that girls could really be hurt by that. The panel uh, had a, a girl on there, and I think she was a junior or senior, and she basically told the audience that she had made some, you know, bad choices when she was a freshman and a sophomore. Choices that hurt her self-esteem, that she regretted, and that she realized when she made those choices after the fact that they were very one-sided in terms of who the choice benefited. And um, of course it impacted my daughter very strongly because she could see, oh gosh, I don't want to hurt myself like that and I don't want to have such a low self-esteem because of it. But I think it also helps with boys because it showed the boys, look at what damage this can cause to a girl when you choose to make these decisions at such a young age when you're not ready and you don't have the trust and the love and the respect for one another when you make that choice. And that's really what they do for these eighth graders, is they give them a sense of using some words that when they share their stories, they hear words. Uh, they understand better the challenges. And it's so empowering and it's so amazing how articulate and how faith-filled and honest and courageous they are to be able to do this. What would you say to an eighth grader today as to why it's important to attend the Making Wise Decisions workshop. You know, you have to be, high school is a whole new world for an eighth grader. You know, you have no idea what to expect going in, and um, you are going to face a lot of temptations that you didn't think were out there so soon. So, you know, kind of becoming aware of those and knowing how to um, deal with them is, is really a big part of high school. I would recommend it just because it's good to see someone who has similar values to you already in high school and that they don't really get changed by their peers or other people who make bad decisions. Right. Would you have any helpful comments for the parents? And what would you say the parents need to tell them about this workshop? Um, I would encourage them to have their kids be excited about high school and not, you know, kind of worry about the pressures that come with high school and the new experiences that, experiences that they're going to face. They should just jump right in and get involved in a lot of different things in high school. Uh, why would you re recommend this workshop to other parents or even schools or, or parishes that might be interested in offering this uh, program? Mm -hmm. Well, two things I think are really uh, good about it are it's done with their peers who they are in school with. So they know uh, all those kids in the room, they know virtually all or most of the parents in the room. So it, it comes at a good time in their development. And mm -hmm. So the future is sort of a big unknown for them, and I think it comes at a good point uh, as they're going to be going out and selecting new friends mm -hmm. um, and uh, taking new risks and new challenges. I think it's just a really good time uh, to do this. And, and also I think in terms of the topic of abstinence and chastity, you know, if, the, if their own church doesn't address it with them, you know, who else will? It's an awesome uh, forum for this to take place. Terrific. My wife and I were new at raising high schoolers at that time. We're a little bit more experienced now, but we're not experts by any means. So this helped give all of us some structure about, you know, where to set boundaries and why and, and all just get in agreement and on the same page. So I think it was a real good forum for bringing us together, a parent with children. I think it's a fantastic workshop and I think the timing is perfect. When kids are in eighth grade, they're just hitting that age where you know they have tough decisions coming up for them. And truly, if we don't talk to them as parents and as educators, then their peers will and the media will. So I think even though the kids may not think they're ready for it or want to hear it from us, it's perfect timing and they, they, they need it um, to begin that dialogue because otherwise they'll be hearing it from uninformed sources or sources that are less credible. I, I think just um, that kids need to be empowered by creating awareness mm -hmm. and educating them and showing them role models and mentors that, that are a few years ahead of them on the same journey. Did you feel as though this was any type of a replacement for how you would like to teach your children about you know, chastity and, and making good decisions? Or did it help you supplement? Yeah, I didn't feel like it was a replacement. I thought it was a good conversation starter and a good reference point, like I said, to be able to reference back to, to some of the things that the kids said and talked about. 
One of the things I like the best is that the parents are attending with their child. True, parents have the responsibility of being their uh, children's first educators. Along those lines, we need help in today's day and age. There's just too much coming at our children, and there's too many voices that are also in their ear. By actually showing them, we think that it's important enough to come and take time out of our, our weekend to attend this workshop. I, I think that speaks volumes to them. Like, my parents were there with me, and it helped reinforce the ideas that they have always raised me with, you know, to be true to myself and just kind of... It was hearing other people saying what my parents told me really helped um, instill those ideas in me in high school. Terrific. I feel like we're probably one of the, St. Joan of Arc is one of the few schools that actually offers a program like this mm -hmm. and having a, a better religion teacher come and, uh, you know, try to share his insight on it is, it, it's really a, a special experience for an eighth grader to have entering high school. I would just say that for as many parishes and schools that can offer this program to your children, it's incredibly beneficial and I'm very grateful we had it in our family. And I, I think it was just a great opportunity um, to raise the subject and, and for the children, with our children, you know, with my wife and, and me, to have a conversation and start the dialogue. So I think it was just a good icebreaker uh, start to our new a high school relationship, which is on a much more mature level than a junior high or elementary school relationship. So. Terrific. Well, I'm glad we have it available. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming in and talking with us. Sure thing. So the value um, that we've seen at St. Joan of Arc School here to offer this program has been terrific. Um, my hope is to try to expand this uh, workshop and be able to have it offered at more schools and parishes throughout the diocese because quite frankly I don't think that we can go m miss reaching these teens that need to hear these types of, of uh, talks and to be connecting with their parents helping our parents know where our teens are at in their high school lives and, and making those connections and bridging um, all those lines of communication that need to be revisited um, as much as possible in this very wonderful and yet challenging time in their lives. So I thank you for the opportunity to share with you about the Making Wise Decisions workshop and I hope to be able to work on this and, and offer it to more uh, wonderful schools and parishes that need it.